golly, it's time to talk about the greatest food group there is. Mm -hmm. It's the food group of cheese. Everybody you know, I think it. it's pretty much like the whole pyramid. Pyramid, yeah. And just like a tiny bit of veg on the top. <laughs> uh, you can pair cheeses with other food groups to help you get the rest of the vitamins and nutrients you need. That's not the actual food pyramid, okay? Yeah, Don't email yeah, me. Yeah, I disclaimer know. at the bottom, it's not actually the food pyramid. It's just our food pyramid, yeah, all right? So Jessica Talbot is here to show us three different recipes what we, that you can make with the perfect food item, which uh, is cheese. cheese. Yes, Hello. for sure. Okay, Jessica, from your dietitian perspective, yes. what do you love so much about cheese? Why do you think it's great for us? Yes, yeah, so cheese, you got calcium, you have protein it's one of your servings of dairy which is awesome um, and it goes great with produce and I feel like I'm always on here saying people aren't eating enough fruits and vegetables so I'm gonna say it again eat more <laughs> fruits and vegetables um, and so I love all these recipes like we've talked about it's November 1st people are starting to plan it's hosting season mm -hmm. um, and it gets kind of stressful for people sometimes because what do I want to eat if I'm looking to eat more vegetables and fruits and looking for those options yeah. and I always say bring offer to bring something um, and so all three of these recipes are great options pairing our crystal farms shredded cheese with our produce items. Oh, this yeah. is good. This it, first one, like the first one, yes. yeah. beautiful. It, and I do like how you have three different things going on here. The first one is like a breakfast, then you have maybe like mm -hmm. an appetizer, and then like another little side exactly. side deal. So let's start yeah. with the what you can have for breakfast. Well, technically, yeah. you can have it any part of the day. Any time of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is our super simple egg bake. So kind of like the name speaks to. It's very simple. So um, we saute our uh, red pepper and our spinach and our mushrooms. Add your shredded frozen potatoes to uh, your pan. Those toss are a those good together. Pro tip. Yeah. yeah. And then on the side, mix your eggs with your Swiss shredded cheese and milk. Pour that over top and bake it. And you're good to go. You're good to go. I love that something like this, though, because we're going to try it here, is mm -hmm. so good Thank room you. temperature, too. Like, I think that obsession over having to have something really hot is mm -hmm. kind of stressful if you're bringing it somewhere. Oh, for sure. Versus, like, you can have this room temperature, mm -hmm. you can have it sitting out. Everybody can grab a little slice whenever yeah. they're hungry. Yeah. Absolutely. Immediately. The peppers are awesome because mm -hmm. you talk about the, the fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. Yeah, the peppers just kind of like make it the whole oh, the so whole good, deal. I mean, sure. the, the cheese is great too. When I was a kid, my mom would make spinach quiche all the time, mm -hmm. and I didn't know that quiche was a breakfast food until college. <laughs> I thought it was a dinner food because that's what my that, mom though. would serve yeah. it for. But it reminds me of that. It has like that same yep. flavor, and it like tastes so comforting. Yeah. The Swiss is really great with that yeah. spinach and mushroom. Great to make ahead and reheat. Speaking to that like stressful morning, people are coming. Make it ahead. Yes. Um, and just making sure it's reheated to that 165 internal temp before you serve. And just don't good. you think you could do these in individual little muffin cups too? You most definitely if you could. To, like meal prep a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The versatility of this thing as well. I mean, yeah. you think about you can put it in like a little wrap, or you can do you know something mm -hmm. something else, and then. You, you can just spice it up with jalapenos and hot yeah, sauce. Absolutely. You can just kind of make it to your life. It looks good yeah. in that cast iron I love skillet it. too. All right, what's this little festive treat? This looks so pretty when you're walking into a party. Yes. Yeah, so that's butternut squash bruschetta. Um, super yummy. So we have a butternut squash that's been roasted with garlic and sage. Yum. So a really classic fall flavor combination there. Um, topped it with our shredded Parmesan yeah. and then broiled it just a little bit to give it a little crisp, give it a little browning. Um, oh, that's nice. Super tasty. Okay, yeah. so I bet you could make it all and then just do the browning right before people come over. Oh, you most definitely could. Okay, this looks really good. Yeah. Okay, now um, the, I'm going to ask you about the Parmesan because I don't see Parmesan, I don't think of Parmesan as a melty type of of that's cheese, true. Mm -hmm. right? But it right. is. Yeah, I mean, I melted it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. No, it looks great, but I always just see it like, you know, it's like yeah. just, just grated yeah. or like on the top of your pasta For or sure. something like that. But yeah. it is something that will melt down like mm -hmm. this. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it still like retains its texture a little yeah. bit. Like it's got its, it it's got its integrity. Yeah, intact. it doesn't do that like stringy thing. Yeah. It mm -hmm. makes for a good handheld bite. I know, I like that. Oh, oh I love really the squash good. mixture. I just want that squash. I mean, it's I want to put that in a pasta, mm -hmm. like in anything. Mm -hmm. is so good. Oh, yeah. Okay, now these fancy stuffed peppers. Now, I yes. when I do stuffed peppers, I always do them sort of like Italian style yeah. with like ground beef and mm -hmm. rice. Um, and then I do a marinara sauce yep. on top. But what do you have going on in here? I'm excited yes. for a twist. So these are our fall stuffed peppers, which I like to say they're like very Midwestern. Um, so even our Crystal Farms cheese, they actually source like 99% of their dairy is coming from Midwestern farms. Ooh. Plus we have our wild rice, our lean ground turkey, mm. um, lower lower sugar craisins, yeah. and then our sweet potato. So mm. it's very in there all nicely and topped with our mozzarella. Okay, that's really good. Yeah. That's really good. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, you I mean, could just like pick that up and just eat it. Mm -hmm. Those little, those little um, the peppers like the perfect vessel for anything. Like, <laughs> it is. 
<laughs> you really can, because I really would at home just pick that up and just eat it like an apple. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a really great thing, too, to have, like, leftovers in the yeah. fridge, like, ready to take with you mm -hmm. for work. Because sometimes I think even around the holidays, just, like, you get busier. It's right. like you have more events to go to. And if you can have that, like, before you're going to a party mm -hmm. where you know there's going to be, like, a ton of cheesy, I mean, cheese is great, <laughs> but, like, so many dips yeah. with yeah. chips and yeah. all that stuff, you can kind of take the edge off. Absolutely. And then enjoy the party. Yeah, have something a little more substantial and right. know that you're getting those veggies, those whole grains in, and... Have a fun night. Yeah, and Just it feels have. a little more sophisticated as well, no, right? Because yeah. you're right. Because people come in with the dips and you're like, oh, wow, what is this little I bright know, little thing? So good. So, Thanks, thank Jessica. you so much. Great you're to welcome. see you. All right, you can uh, visit Coburn's uh, uh, recipe site, celebratemore.com, to get lots more fun ideas for fall cooking with Coburn. And we posted that link on twincitieslive.com. All right, one of our absolute best contests is back. Each one of these prizes is worth more than $5,000. See what you or someone you love could receive when we come.